Hi, uh, so this is Park Avenue LASIK, uh, which uh, is the only center in New York uh, and probably on the eastern seaboard which exclusively performs LASIK, which is a surface ablation procedure. It's a no cut, no flap procedure. I, I think it's the only center in the country, by the way. You know what I'm saying? I really haven't heard of another center that's pure surface. So we can shoot higher on that chin. We can shoot higher prescriptions and unusual conditions like, um, you don't mind if we use your name, right? No. Okay, so you want to just interview him a little bit? Yeah, so we have Sydney here, Sydney Junior actually. This, this, <laughs> oh, I didn't know you were a junior. Yeah, okay. it's at no, least that. With it's different middle names. Oh, okay, yeah. But okay. So, essentially, to make it so, easier. Like, we don't call you Junior, right? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> so the reason we are here with Sydney is uh, Sydney was an extreme prescription, like minus. What were your contacts like? Minus sixteen. Minus fourteen when I minus fifteen in the other. Minus yeah, some and crazy prescription. Yeah, so you, could, you could look at the prescription, but besides the prescription, it's also the uh, nystagmus. You have to kind of explain what nystagmus yeah, is. Yeah. So really and because of his extreme prescription, uh, what happened was that when when he was growing up, uh, his eyes never really fixated on any, onto anything because it was very difficult for the eyes to catch up. And well, you have to explain to the viewer what nystagmus is. Yeah. So. Nystagmus essentially means that uh, you could show his eyes because yeah. he's still got nystagmus. Yeah, so n nystagmus essentially means that you know if you look at his eyes, it's like jiggling. they don't stay. It's jiggling, okay. And the, one of the reasons for jiggling is that uh, he never had good vision uh, <clears throat> for the eyes to be stable, stable enough for the brain to understand that you know the eyes need to be uh, fixated at one point. Yeah, the brain's helping the eyes fixate. In other words, if we lost vision, sometimes you develop nystagmus. There is secondary nystagmus. I've actually noticed that the, the nystagmus has gotten better. I think it's better. Post procedure. The, your, your, your amplitude of nystagmus yeah. used to be bigger pre It was horrible. It was, I, I could literally tell. And people could tell. Shape, yeah. Now people can't tell. Like yeah. The average person wouldn't think you had nystagmus. I'd be talking to someone and they be like, whoa, yeah. stop. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> there's a pre-op. That was obvious. Yeah. And now it's really not. You see Saying. So it's that's, gotten better. That's definitely better because his vision's better. Yeah, and I, and I notice those kind of things. Yeah. Like yeah, cosmetically it's better because yeah. you don't want to be talking to someone and they think you're. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like one of those old pod games. <laughs> and it's like distracting. You yeah. Know? yeah. <laughs> And and we do we do correct a lot of extreme prescriptions. I mean, the worst you've corrected is minus twenty two. That's the worst in U.S. history. Yeah, the worst yeah. in probably all of the world. <laughs> that might be the worst in the world. Yeah, yeah. we're not yeah. sure about but, that one. But, but the, the worst in the U.S. But the reason so. that I am really curious is that not because he was an extreme prescription, but the uh, the real concern is that so how did we manage? Okay. So how did we manage? Okay, so two things. Okay, number one. The laser does have a tracker, so the minor amounts of the nystagmus it can track. And then we have a little uh, fixation thing. Um, I don't know if you remember, but there's like a little ring with little teeth. Oh, the fixation can, ring. Yeah, and you can hold okay. this flare. It's like a little ring with a little handle. I'll show it to you later. Okay. And then you could fixate. So I think I use that to fixate him, and then have little tiny things the laser will track. Okay. So um, people out there with nystagmus, it's not a very common condition. You could do a landing page for nystagmus if you want, and then the next patient we have, then you can help me treat them. You'll think it's cool. Um, but people who have nystagmus, we can treat them. And Ten doctors will tell you we can't do what we can't do it. I think you hit some of that. Okay. Yeah, right. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I want to interview him a little bit because he has yeah, sure. that. Yeah, sure. So, well, I had contacted quite a few doctors before I had, uh, contacted Dr. Chin, and it was the same story. Can't be done, right? Can't be done. I, I hate it when they say that. I really wish they would Not even like, we can't I know, do it, that would be like, so much better. It, it, it would be so much better if they say, I can't do it, rather than Because they discourage you from I know. still looking. We, they they discourage you from pursuing. We yeah. drove home We drove home from Albany. Ugh, that was the first one. It was a little over two hour, a two-hour drive home. And after the visit, I don't think one word was spoken. Yeah, you're, oh, you're, you're just depressed, right? So you're just home. so dejected. Yeah. By, it's like, oh, we yeah. can't. Nobody can help us. It's like because they were like the big specialists for us. Yeah. Everyone yeah. that we talked to was like Albany. That one Albany. word going home. I remember that ride home. I felt so bad. It was yeah. just, it's we like didn't, dejecting. We didn't speak. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's dejecting. Yeah. It was the longest ride. I got home and I was like, oh, thank God I'm home. <laughs> <laughs> no, really. You're like, you're like deflated. Yeah. Yeah. I really wish they would say things like, yeah, I yeah, can't do it. Exactly. I really hate it when they say it can't be done. Yeah. No. It, it's, and it's good that you guys didn't give up. No. So oh, never give yeah. up. I would say you're know, most because you guys, yeah, you're very, you're very positive, optimistic. Never give people, up. You know, say. But I, I really, I really. They used to tell him as a child. They said someday. Yeah. When he was a little kid, someday. Yeah. I had this Dr. Merriam, Dr. Merriam up in Syracuse. I've gone to him my whole life. Typically, what changes in a four-year period? He's, he's like, like, do you oh, know? Oh. He's like, do you know what happened four years ago compared to what happens now? He's like, 
and you're like eight, nine, ten years yeah. old, the whole time growing up. He's like, yeah. by the time you want this, by the yeah. time you're twenty, yeah. he's like, you're in a whole nother ballpark, that's and true. that's that's what kind of always gave me hope for yeah. the fact that like no, maybe he's smart. Cause, yeah, because yeah. I've been doing this for almost twenty years now, and yeah. it's yeah. totally different. He was his pediatric ophthalmologist. Yeah, exactly. He's very good. Yeah, yeah. You know, he was always, you know, glass half full, yeah, yeah. which I like. You guys still keep in touch with him? Yeah, absolutely. I still I still go to him for checkups and for well, like. We should try to we could get him on the phone today. I could chat with him a little bit. Yeah, that'd be he's, nice. He's a great guy. Yeah. He guy. wasn't he the first doctor to notice my on um, the sadness. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. When you were like 13 months old. Yeah. Because they bring me in and they're like, he's not looking at us. <laughs> they, they hold me. I'm like looking up here. <laughs> you know, your eyes are shaking. <laughs> yeah. It was like, is this normal? Yeah. It looks better now. Definitely it's much better. better. Yeah. Before I w I could if it got bad enough, I would literally lose peripheral vision because yeah. it's just and I'm oh, only getting right in front of me. Yeah, yeah. And, and I haven't even had an episode of that anymore. Yeah. Like, I can't notice it if I try to. If I yeah. sit there and stare and try to notice the yeah. nystagmus now, I still don't. I've, no, that's great. I've personally noticed, and I haven't even told you this, but I've personally noticed you're more confident. Now. I think you are. Remember before we did this, we said you were shook all the time. You're <laughs> the bad part about all this was I didn't mind the eyes, I didn't mind the vision. It's when I sat still, people would. And I, I had no idea I was trying to it. for And I'm sitting yeah. there. Bobblehead, whatever yeah, I'm yeah. doing, and people are like, "Are you okay? <laughs> Do you need something? Are you diabetic? I don't I'm like. How should I be handling this?" Yeah. And I'm like, "What are you talking about?" I don't understand. <laughs> and I'd hold my head and be like, "Oh my god." Do this. He's so definitely more confident. Much more Remember confident. we talked about this? We're talking about confidence. We're talking yeah. about school. We're talking about sports. And I said, I'm predicting that I could really help you out. Yeah. I don't know how I played sports. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know, like, yeah. yeah. You know, like sports, you're always like hitting a ball. You have to yeah. keep your head still. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I was a receiver. That was yeah. the horrible. <laughs> that was the worst position. So have you noticed any? I'm just curious. Have you noticed any improvement in sports at all, or you haven't done too many sports? Um, to the most really I've done this summer was like go to the beach and throw football around yeah, so yeah, can't really tell around. dramatically yeah. but at the same time um, I'm sure it's probably better if you really tried to catch football as a wide receiver or whatever driving is really the most uh, the biggest way I could tell because before nighttime like daytime like before the correction you know I could I, I knew my limits like if I was probably like 200 yards from a light I couldn't even tell what color it was like so I'm like you know cruising up to it kind of slow. Yeah. Now at like nighttime when it was even worse than daytime for me because I couldn't see anything. Like, yeah. you know, things would kind of pop out yeah. like before I could even see them. I'm surprised. Yeah. yeah. And now it's like I, the first, you know, month after the surgery was a little hard but because the healing, but yeah, yeah. now it's like it's unbelievable how yeah. well I can see at night now. Yeah. Like that's the biggest thing for me is just being able to tell driving. Not really like everyday life it helps obviously wake up not having to put contacts in and being able to see like coherently and everything. But the, the biggest thing for me to, to visually tell is just driving. You get behind mm -hmm. the wheel and it's like, you know, you use markers for yourself. Like, man, I remember when I was at this light, I couldn't see that store. Yeah. Now I can read the sign on yeah. the star. I can tell that's, you what the that's, special that's, is. That's, the, that's with your yeah. best vision in your contacts, right? Yes. That was yeah. your best so we got, yeah, so most people don't know that we can make people see better than glasses or contacts, mm -hmm. especially because we get rid of minification. Mm -hmm. Because if you give minus 10 or higher, there's a clear image, but it's a tiny image. When you put that correction onto the cornea, you don't... I have the minification, so everything seems magnified. Yeah. You yeah. Know? So it, it's really, I really think that people have to know that the non cutting procedure yeah. can treat. And the, the, the limit for LASIK, I used to do the LASIK myself, like minus nine. That wouldn't help you because if we shoot you minus right. nine, you, we leave you minus Which five. goes back to what they <laughs> should have told us in the first place, which is like in Albany when they're like, oh, this this won't help you, can't be done, this is the only procedure. That, and, and that was literally, because the first question out of his mouth is, well, what else is there? And then yeah. nothing. Yeah. There's, there's this or nothing. See, that's what I also have to teach my staff because we're not sending enough of our uh, high risk, high, right, right. unusual patients back to the doctor. You see what I'm saying? I, I actually have another daughter that I'm trying to get to come down. Oh, My cool. oldest one, she's, yeah. she's got two kids and okay. she's 31. Okay. So negative seven, negative eight. Yeah, that's easy. I was one is seven, okay? Um, well, we have to send the people like you back to the original doctor so they can't do it because that's the only way to educate them, really. really you know? right. Otherwise, people just think we're crazy. Yeah. yeah. You know, I think there is, we have the reputation of being the, 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 the center that treats the highest prescriptions that nobody can touch. Yeah. But 
on the negative side, maybe some people are like, oh, maybe they're just crazy. Maybe they just don't have high standards. No, yeah. we're doing a different procedure that allows us to. So we have to send more people back to the original doctors. Plus, and, obviously, I feel like for you guys, you can't really have too many stories like me because, like you said, it's not like you have a negative 15 walking in the door every day like, I need right. this done now. And then yeah. have we, someone we don't, much. We have negative 15, but we don't have somebody with negative 15 and the stagnant. The stagnant. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so the negative 15s like, we're doing once a week almost, but nice. the stagnant is not that often. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And right now, I'm, I'm trying to retire actually I'm not really in it anymore for the volume or the money but I, I really want to help the people who can't be helping other people right. and the people who are told that it can't be done people like yeah yeah exactly and you're a really nice guy Thank and you. you're you're probably two of my favorite patients and, and the family I like to hear that no because no, you're really you're, I, you're, I find it interesting because I've had people ask me so you went all the way to New York and I don't know how many times we've been down now six seven yeah. eight I yeah. don't know and you know isn't that kind of far and it's like because we live in Syracuse it's a long drive yeah. it's but you know what? I go farther than this to go watch a football game. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's like if you're going to drive that distance to go watch a football game, yeah. why wouldn't you have For a life changing health. event? Yeah. I mean, yeah. doesn't it? I don't know. Yeah, no, we have people with unusual conditions call us on the phone and they'll be like, oh, do you know somebody in uh, whatever, like Minneapolis, you yeah. can do this. I'm like, I don't really think there's anybody there. Yeah. You could come here. And they're like, oh, it's really far. I'm like, dude, we have people flying from Europe. Sure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I so, would. I mean, if you're yeah. the only person to do the procedure, yeah. what are your options, you yeah. know? If we're within driving distance, then that's pretty good. Yeah, we took the bus today. It was actually nice. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. That's somebody that's else. Nice. Make, make a trip out of it. Last yeah. time I came down without him, I just came down with my buddy and stayed in the city for oh, a night nice. and a half. Yeah, that's just, fun. Exactly. You something fun. Yep. You guys going to do something fun this time? Or? Yeah, yeah, pretty much came down. Down and back, hop back on the bus tonight and ride back up. Yeah. It's not, not fun. Ha not as I actually months. enjoy it. It's fun. I don't mind it. Yeah, you get to the city or whatever. So. Yeah. Well, thanks a lot. I really appreciate you uh, talking on YouTube a little bit. We no, want no. all the people who yeah. were told it can't be done to come down. And I'm telling you, more than half of the time, we can we can fix these people. Yeah. If uh, in the future, if somebody's watching this video and they want to speak with me directly or email me, by all means. So. Oh, you want to give your email address? You can. Sure. Uh, it's it's S D J O H N thirty nine at gmail dot com. So okay, ask cool. to John 39 at Gmail. Yeah, I'll give my email address too, okay? So mine's like safesitesurgeon at Gmail, S-A-F-E-S-I-J-S-T, surgeon at Gmail. And then the practice one, you can give the practice one. Yeah, it's uh, I-N-F-O, info at park, uh, at C park, park, Avenue, park Avenue Safe Site dot com yeah. or, or contact park. at parkavenuesafesite.com. Yeah, and, and the phone number is 212-741-8628, and we're happy to answer people's questions. And I really like helping people like you. That's why I do it. I'm you glad know. you can help people <laughs> like me. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so much. Thanks, Dr. Chu. You did a great job. Good to see you. And thanks for bringing him down. Yeah. A lot of people, oh, are you kidding? A lot of people would have given up. You know, Please. Please.